Welcome to Introductory Statistics using SPSS 2nd Edition. This video shows how to process the ANOVA test. You can watch the entire video or use the time slider to navigate directly to any time point. The ANOVA test is similar to the t-test, but whereas the t-test compares two groups of continuous variables to determine if one group statistically significantly outperformed the other, the ANOVA test can process three or more groups. In this example, we have three groups. The members of each group will be given a set of instructions and asked to assemble the ABLE chair. The participants in Group 1 were given text-only instructions. Those in Group 2 were given text instructions with illustrations. And the members of Group 3 were given an instructional video demonstrating how to assemble the chair. The researcher ran the participants individually and recorded how long it took each person to assemble the chair. Group 1 had a mean of 97.63 minutes, Group 2 had a mean of 92 minutes, and Group 3 had a mean of 89.77 minutes. The ANOVA test will compare the groups to each other and calculate a p-value for each pair of groups. In this three-group example, it'll compare Group 1 to Group 2, Group 1 to Group 3, and Group 2 to Group 3. If the p-value is less than or equal to 0.05, we would conclude that one group statistically significantly outperformed the other. The ANOVA test has three pre-test criteria, normality, end quota, and homogeneity of variance. We'll check for normality now. The other two will be processed when we run the ANOVA test. This example uses the data set CH06, Example 01, ANOVA and Crisco Wallace Test.sav. This data set contains two variables. The first variable is group, which is a categorical variable containing three values. Group 1 got the text only instructions, Group 2 got text with illustration instructions, and Group 3 got an instructional video. The second variable is time. This is a continuous variable that contains the number of minutes that each participant required to assemble the chair. The ANOVA test will compute the mean for each group and then calculate the p-value for each pair of groups, which will tell us which group, if any, statistically significantly outperformed which. To check for normality, we need to order a histogram with normal curve for time for each group. We'll begin with group 1, the group that was assigned the text-only instructions. Click Select Cases, click If Condition is Satisfied, and click If. In the dialog box, enter Group equals 1. Click Continue, click OK. Now that only the records for Group 1 are active, we can order a histogram with normal curve. Click Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies. Move Time to Variables. Click Charts. And select Histogram with normal curve. Click Continue. Click OK. And it'll process. The histogram for Group 1 text-only instructions meets the normality criteria. Now we'll repeat this process for Group 2, text with illustrations. Click Select Cases, click If Condition is Satisfied, and click If. In the dialog box, enter Group equals 2. Click Continue, and click OK. Now that only the records for Group 2 are active, we can order a histogram with normal curve. Click Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies. Notice that time is still in variables. Since the Charts option hasn't been changed since our prior run, we don't need to revisit the Charts menu. 
Click OK and it'll process. The histogram for Group 2, text with illustration, meets the normality criteria. We'll repeat this one more time to process Group 3, the instructional video. Click Select Cases, click If Condition is Satisfied, and click If. In the dialog box, enter Group equals 3. Click Continue, and click OK. Now that only the records for Group 3 are active, we can order a histogram with normal curve. Click Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies. Click OK, and it'll process. The histogram for Group 3, the instructional video, meets the normality criteria. Before we run the ANOVA test, we need to select all of the records. The simplest way to do this is to click on the filter underscore dollar sign variable and press the delete key. To run the ANOVA test, click on Analyze, Compare Means, One Way ANOVA. Move Time to Dependent List and move Group to Factor. Click Options and click Descriptive and Homogeneity of Variance Test. Click Continue. Now click on Post Hoc. The Post Hoc menu allows us to select how the groups of pairs will be compared to each other. Since each group has the same number of participants, we'll use the two key test. If the groups had different ends, then we use the side act test instead. Click Continue, click OK, and it'll process. We see that each group has an N of at least 30, hence the N quota is satisfied. We also see that the homogeneity of variance test returned a p-value of 0.122. Since this is greater than 0.05, this indicates that there is no statistically significant difference in the variances between the groups. Hence, the homogeneity of variance test is satisfied. Back to the descriptives table, notice that this table contains the means for each group. These figures will be useful when it comes to documenting the results. Finally, we see the results of the ANOVA test. The p-value is 0.001. Since this is less than or equal to 0.05, this tells us that at least one group significantly outperformed another. To determine which group outperformed which, we'll look at the pairwise comparisons on the multiple comparisons table. The first pair we'll assess is the text group with a mean of 97.63, and the text with illustrations group with a mean of 92. The p-value of 0.022 is less than or equal to 0.05, indicating that the text with illustrations group statistically significantly outperformed the text group. The next comparison is the text group with a mean of 97.63 and the video group with a mean of 89.77. The p-value is 0.001. Since this is less than or equal to 0.05, this indicates that the video group statistically significantly outperformed the text group. The last pair of comparisons involves the text with illustrations group with a mean of 97.63 and the video group with a mean of 89.77. This comparison produced a p-value of 0.536. Since this is greater than 0.05, this tells us that there is no statistically significant difference in the assembly time between the text with illustrations group and the video group. This concludes this video.